welcome back to my youtube channel once again first of all i wish you all a very happy new year today i am going to talk about routing policies in route 53 and this would be our third part in the route 53 series videos as this is the first video where we would actually start configuring route 53 as our dns management service i would first introduce about the routing methods or policies available in route 53 after that, I would discuss and configure our very first routing policy that, that is simple routing policy. Uh, before we start configuring routing in Route 53, I would like to reiterate that Route 53 can be used for three different purposes in any order combination. And those are domain registration or a domain name registration, DNS management service and the health checks. So it is recommended that we should know about the DNS basics and Route 53 capability as a domain registration service before we start configuring our first routing policy. I have already covered those topics in my previous videos for which links have been provided in the description box below where you can go and have a look at them. So let's start guys. So first of all, we'll see what are the routing policies we have in Route 53. The first one is simple routing policy. This is the simplest routing policy available and we'll talk about it later in the same in this video. Then we have a weighted routing policy, the weighted routing policy where you assign different different weights to your records and accordingly routing will happen. Then we have failover routing policy. Failover routing policy is basically for a kind of an active passive setup where once the active web server or the web service is no, no longer reachable or not healthy, the traffic would be diverted or routed to the passive servers. Then we have multi-value answer routing policy. The multi-value answer routing policy is similar to your simple routing policy. The only difference is that it can have multiple records along with health checks. Then we have a latency routing policy where the routing will happen based on the latency of the different servers. Then we have geolocation routing policy where you can define as per the geographic location of the user where the traffic would be routed or diverted. So let's move on to simple routing policy configuration. So guys, what is a simple routing policy? As I said in the previous slide, a simple routing policy can have only one record with a single or multiple IP addresses as the value. So what does that mean? If you specify multiple IPs for a single record, then Route 53 returns those values in random order to client. If you look at this uh, small diagram which I have, so let's see if number one user comes in and he tries to access any websites and that website is configured through a simple routing with the two IP addresses. So route 53 in the first attempt will provide a different IP address and it might be possibility then the sec when the second user comes in route 53 provides a different IP address or the different server to the client who is trying to accessing it. So that's a simple routing policy. It can have only one record and against that one record you can have multiple values assigned to it and route 53 would provide those values or return those values in a random order okay so that's that was the route uh, all about a uh, simple routing policy let's see how do we configure it in the aws management console before we go that i would like to show you guys what kind of an infrastructure setup i am using for testing this configuration so you can see uh, i have got three different servers and one of them in US East 1A and that there are two servers which are in AP Southeast, Asia Pacific Southeast that is Singapore. So we have got three different servers and we will try to uh, access these servers after configuring simple routing policy. So let's go to the AWS management console. So this is my AWS management console. I would be configuring one, uh, one server in North Virginia. So let's start doing it. Launch an instance. Let me select uh, Amazon Linux AMI. This is a free tier eligible. I will keep it kind of default. Go to the configured uh, the parameters. So we'll keep the number of instances default, net VPC and network default. Subnet would be on the default. We'll, we'll use the auto assign public IP address of subnet setting. Then we'll have no, uh, we'll not be using any IAM role here. So what I would like you to pay attention here is the advanced details. I would be providing, I'll, I'll be, I would be, uh, you know, configuring a bash script here, which will make the server a web server with a mini website running so that we can have a 
we can test our routing a simple routing i would be providing this script in the description box as well where you can uh, use it this is hash shebang slash bin bash yum update i yum install apache change to the var dub 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 html directory let's type a small index file here this is what it is so this is what i'm gonna type shall see shall we service httpd start then in case it gets stop we would like it to get an auto start so we'll put check config httpd and the status should be on so that's the script which we're going to use next add storage we'll keep it at default add tags we'll add the tag maybe a name and web server 03 server 03 next so i would be using a existing security group which i have for this purpose so so if you look at this uh, rules it is allowing http ssh and https review and launch i have access to this uh, key pair here so i will use the same key pair which i have I acknowledge that I have access to this key pair and I launched the instance. So guys, now this instance being launched and similarly, I would be preparing two more instances in, in the uh, Singapore region and I'll come back and, you know, uh, start configuring the simple routing policy. Till, the, till that point of time, I would stop the video. I'll pause the video and come back. So guys, our servers are up and running. So let's have a look. These are Singapore servers. This is one server still initializing. Let's go back to North Virginia. So this is what we have here. Let me check whether it's working or not as in a web server. So we provided a bash script which installed Apache, update, updated the server as well as made it a web server. So let me check whether it's working or not. So here is the IP address. Let me try to access it. It's working fine. You can see, you can see the web, the small mini website, whatever you call it. It's showing that is my web server three at US Northern Virginia. Let me try with the other servers as well. So here we go. This is our server at Singapore. So we got two sync servers at Singapore. So let me see what's their status. Looks like they are up and running as well. So. Let me try to access whether they are working or not. Yes, it is web server to Singapore. It's working fine. Let me go to the other one. And check the, this is the public IP we have. I'll copy and paste in the browser. So this is it is. And yeah, this is a B Cloud Web Crew server. It's web server one Singapore. So guys, all the servers are working fine as in a web servers. Now what we are going to do, we will take all these records and configure our very first simple routing policy let's go to services into route 53 once the dashboard opens we'll see our already registered domains we have one domain registered we have one hosted zone so we'll click on hosted zones so if you see there's a one zone which i have so i'll select this one bcloudgroup.co.uk and you can see there are two different records you can see here one is this is the hosted john which have my name server as well as an soa record so these are the four different name servers which aws is hosting for me and there's an soa record so let's start configuring a simple routing policy so how to go about it click on create a record set 
Uh, I'm creating this for uh, bcloudguru.co.uk. I don't have an www, so I will be keeping it John Apex. The type of the record would be a record. It's not alias. So here we can uh, provide it this TTL that is time to leave for my records. I don't want to wait for 300 seconds. So I'll make it as small as possible for 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. And here we can put the values. What are the values we are going to put it? The IP addresses of our three different web server so this is one so i'll do one thing this is nothing but you can copy and paste here sorry so you can copy and paste this value here then the next one so this is my next value so I'll, again i'll do a copy paste here so this is the second value i have and then the third one so this is the third public ip of my web server so let's go back to the route for the management console and put it here so that's it so now we have as the definition suggested there's a single record along with we have multiple values of ip addresses and a value so here is the routing policy here you can click and find out what are the different routing policies available for a simple weighted latency failover geolocation multi-value uh, for this video, we are using sim going to use simple routing policy. So we select simple and we click on create. So you can see there is another record created. This is a type of record is A. These are the values for this record. And this is the TTL we specified. Now how to go and check about it. So I'll go here as the name suggests. This is uh, we have configured this now simple routing for B cloudguru.co.uk. So what we'll do, we'll start use gets propagated so say it is going to web server to singapore now guys if i start using it immediately after doing a refresh the dns my dns server would be keeping this record in the cache and i would be getting the same record again and again so we need to wait for some time or or if you want you can refresh or you know delete the cache of your browser and you can try again let me open a different browser this time and so, so this one is so here i'm being redirected to b cloud group web server 03 us northern virginia so you can see guys it is randomly taking me to different different web servers so th this is what the simple routing is all about and one another thing i would like to show you here you cannot create a different value for a simple or an additional record for this value like i'll see i've created a record set i'll keep it like this i'll try to create a diff another record maybe 12 dot i don't web i'm going to just show you that you can have only one record i'll try to create it it says try to create resource record set but it already exists so you cannot have a different record you can have multiple values against a single record so that's it guys that was the, the all about uh, see your simple routing policies again thanks for watching and if you like the video plan please like and subscribe for more such videos and re related info please visit my website www.bcloudguru.com and guys put your comments and if you need any specific video please put put them in the comment i would try to prepare them as soon as possible or as soon as get a chance Thanks guys. Thanks everyone. Have a nice day.